Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this Olympic logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width should be 1920, height should be 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds, and background color I'll choose white color and simply hit OK. Now go to choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Press Ctrl Y to create a solid background layer and I'll choose white color over here, hit OK and hit OK and I'll lock this layer for now. Hit Ctrl I to import our logo file. I'll select this logo and simply hit import and drag and drop to our animation comp. Now we are not going to animate this logo but we will choose this as a reference and we will create our logo in this software and I'll drag it over here as a reference. Now we will choose our ellipse tool. We don't want any fill so I'll delete it. The only thing we need to deal with is our stroke so I'll choose the red color for the stroke and stroke width is 30 and by holding shift I'll create one small ellipse over here press ctrl alt thumb to align that anchor point to the center press V for selection tool and I'll drag this thing over here now press G for our paint tool from here to here I'll create one stroke by holding shift like this Select this and move it a little bit lower. Make sure that syncs with this circle. Select this shape, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the contents and go to the add and add trim path. Go to the trim path and start. I'll choose 100 and create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit up to 20 frames. I'll make it zero. Create one keyframe on the end on 20 frames and one second 10 frames i'll make it zero again so if we hit play we'll get this kind of stuff now I, at this point i'll choose my ellipse go to the contents add choose stream path go to the trim path and start i'll choose 99 for now and offset i'll choose 180 yeah so now if if i decrease the value it will animate from here so initially it should be 100 so I'll create one keyframe and at this point I'll make it 0. So if we see our animation we'll get this kind of stuff. Select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. So we will get this kind of animation. Now select both the layers in the search bar I'll type stroke. Now go to the stroke one property over here as we can see line cap is butt cap but we need to change it into round cap and same thing for this one also change it to round cap hit you and if we hit play we have as you can see we have round caps over here select those last keyframes and hit f9 to easy use those keyframes now select both of them press ctrl shift c to pre comp it I'll call it as blue because I'm going to change the color of this composition so I'll type blue over here and hit OK. Press Y to choose our pen behind tool and adjust this anchor point to the center of the circle. Press V for selection tool and I'll drag it over here. Go to the effect and presets and search for fill effect. Simply double click on it and with the help of the speaker I'll choose this blue color. Now after that hit Ctrl D, press V and simply drag it over here and with the help of the speaker I will choose this color hit enter and type black because obviously it is black so I will type black hit ctrl D drag it over here and choose red color hit enter type red hit ctrl D drag it over here with the help of the speaker, I will choose this yellow color. Hit enter, type yellow. And we will follow the same procedure for last one also.
I will type agree. So our main thing is done now. So I'll delete this logo, which is our reference. I'll create one null object. Select all of them. Make it apparent with this null one. Select this none and simply drag it over here at the center. Press S for scaling option to scale it and drag it over here. And after our proper adjustment, I'll delete it. So if I hit play now, as we can see, our all layers are coming from here. But this one this is not proper so hit ctrl z don't delete that null object scale it up to 90 yeah this one looks good to me and adjust it at the center and then delete that null so uh, almost our animation is ready now what we'll do we'll tweak some changes select all the layers and press r for rotation now for the black one rotation i'll choose 90 so it will come from the top for red one i'll choose rotation up to two set. let's say 180 for the yellow one i'll choose 270 for the red one let's say 360 or let's say 180 like this or you can choose 270 for this one also which looks good to me so if we hit play now we'll get this kind of stuff now we need to uh, adjust, randomize them like this with the help of open bracket so we we'll get this randomized version of our logo if you want to decrease the distance you, you are free to do that just like this if we play we will get this kind of stuff like this hit control 0 don't I will don't delete that reference if we see our reference over here we are getting some intersections over here so for that what we will do we will select our blue circle as we can see this one portion should be at the top so for that what we will do i will select this blue hit ctrl d drag it at the top choose our rectangle tool and make sure that you are choosing fill option hit ok and delete the stroke select the duplicate layer and i will create one mask over here so we will get these results now same procedure we need to follow all of them as we can see over here we are getting the black portion is at the top to select this black hit ctrl d drag it at the top and at this portion create one mask as we can see at this point should be black should be at the top so select this layer hit ctrl d press m select this mask and delete it and create mask over here now as we can see the red one is should be at the top so select the red one hit ctrl d drag it at the top and at this point i'll create mask i'll hide this for now and now if we hit play we will get those intersections also and we will get our animation also so yep this is our final animation of our logo now create one null object select all of them make it apparent with this null 2 sorry go to 4 seconds press s for scaling option create one scale over here at this point i will increase the scale up to 110 create keyframe and drag this keyframes at the start and if we hit play we will get this zoom out effect over here so yep this is our final animation of our olympic logo So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.